Hi, so this is just a short video to show how I lace my shoes. Um, I have pretty narrow feet. Uh, I wear a size anywhere from 11 to a 12 in the Converse Chucks uh, All Star high tops uh, or low tops. Um, I have very few low tops. But, anyways, I'm, a, I'm an underlace guy, not an overlace guy. Most of them come laced over the top uh, as opposed to underneath. Um, but I always lace them and I actually put a custom hole in the tongue uh, in order to keep the tongue so that it doesn't end up going down in the side of your foot. I actually put a hole and that's kind of what I'm here to show you. So I got a new pair of chucks here. I'm going to first unlace them from the weird way they do them over to under so you can actually tighten them. Get the strings all out. The stuffing out. I usually put uh, just one of the padded insoles in, so um, I've been wearing quote unquote Chuck 2s for 20 years because I put the insoles. So over to under. I'm an under guy. And what I do is basically I lace up kind of anal about the first, the strings being straight. You know, as they age, the strings get flipped and get dirty and whatever. But then, and, and these are kind of a distressed style, so they've already <laughs> they, they give you used dirty shoestrings to start with. Uh, is I lace four holes up, one, two, three, four, and then pull the tongue tight, and then just take your standard Swiss Army knife, pocket knife, whatever, and I go basically where pull the tongue taut. And I'm going to cut about a finger's width for about a half inch right above. Just kind of push it through, get a hole, move over about a half inch, push it through, get a hole. So that what I end up with is basically a hole here and a hole here that allows the strings to go through those. Now some Converse actually and some other brands of shoes actually include these little tongue centers. Um, for whatever reason the chucks don't but I've been doing this for 20 plus years in all of mine you can go back and just look at ones that I've been wearing forever a million years even the ones that are at my garage for my work shoes that I've had for who knows how long uh, they've all got this slot in the middle and so then I run the strings through that slot kinda like that in order to keep the strings basically keep the tongue from going down around the side of my foot as I wear the shoe and then I lace one more hole. Uh, I pretty much never lace them all the way up so that when I got a fully laced shoe with the tongue pulled tight it looks like that. And I always leave the top two holes open just so I've got a little bit of ankle flexibility. Um, I never lace them all the way up to the top hole. But anyways, that's how I lace them so that the tongue stays put and doesn't wander around down this side of my shoe over here or on this side. I always hate it when you get, you know, halfway through your day and, and you're wrapping the tongue around the underside of your foot. So anyways, that's how I do it. Chucks for life.